In a passage of the Holy Scriptures, we are told that we must remember those who have taught us the Word of God, who have brought to us the knowledge of God. And today, we remember two men who are not, whose names are not written in the list of saints, but who have lived and left a seal upon many, many of us, who have brought to us light, understanding, I have in mind Leonid Uspiansky, whose 15th anniversary, 11th anniversary of death falls on this day, and Father Alexander Schmerman. Leonid Uspiansky was a man of a very few words. He was silent, he was quiet, but his quiet began with his deep-rootedness in the creative silence of God. He communed with him at that level which does not allow words to be spoken. He was rooted in this silence. And he was rooted also in the knowledge of God as expressed in the Church in line and in color, in icons. He was one of the great icon painters of our days. On each icon, he expressed the knowledge of the church, but transmitted through one concrete living soul the total knowledge finding expression in a unique and unrepeatable manner. We can be grateful to him, we in particular, as well as others, who pray before his icons, because the icons of our screen have been painted by disciples of his. He learned from prayer, from contemplative silence, to commune with God. At that level, he communed also with the experience of the whole Church and expressed it in line and in color for us to receive a message greater than he and unique. We remember also the 15th anniversary of the death of Father Alexander Schmem, a young man whom I knew as a boy in a boy's camp. He was earnest in his faith. He was human. He was a man of his time. He received the message of orthodoxy from the great man who had learned it, taught it, and brought it to the West at the moment of the Revolution. But he did not simply repeat this message. He drank deeply at the well of truth and life, and he proclaimed it in words and images that could be understood in our time. We can be grateful to him that he has proclaimed eternal, true orthodoxy in a way so unrepeatable because it belongs to our time and makes us one with the centuries that have passed. And it's not only the great men whom we notice who are, in that sense, messengers, messengers of God and of truth divine. Each of us, if we only receive in our heart the light 
of God. If we become a flame with the gift of God, we can transmit it to one another. And the time with the simplicity that we do not believe possible, a simplicity that, as it seems to us, could not possibly bring any fruit. And I want to give you one example, that of a very simple Russian priest, Father Vasily Zakhanievich. A small man died of TB when I knew him. No theologian, an ex-village priest. And he was discussing with a highly educated, cultured man the problem of faith and unbelief. Sorry. His interlocutor was telling to him that with the education he had received, his knowledge of history and philosophy and theology and literature and so many other things, he could not possibly believe in God. And Father Vasily had no argument against him. He only looked at him with affection and said, Sasha, is that really so important that you don't believe in God? What truly matters is that God believes in you. And these simple, simple words reached his interlocutor, reached and bore fruit. And later, he became a priest himself. A simple phrase. I heard it when I was in my late teens, and I have not forgotten it. Think of it, or the way in which one word, simple but true, can transfer, transform the life of a person who seems to be so far greater than you, for whom you have no words of wisdom, but for whom you have a word of truth. And so before we part, let us sing Vecina Pamit to Leonid Uspiansky, to Father Alexander Schmem, to Father Vasily Zekhanievich, and to the man whom he converted by one simple phrase, Father Alexander Turinsev. O blaženem uspieni, vieczny pokój, podaż, Gospodzie, rabom Twoim, Leonidu, Jerry Aleksandru, Jerry Vasiliu, Jerry Aleksandru i wsem czadom ich duchownym, i zatwarim wiecznoju pamięć.
Воскреси из мертвых, Христос, истинный Бог наш, молит в ради Пречистия Своей Матери, святых славных и всех важных апостолов, и же святых Отца наша Иоанна, архиепископа Константинопольского Златоустова, преподобных и богоносных Отец наша Сегия, Игумена Радонежского и все России чудотворцы, и Серафима Саровского чудотворца, священномученика власти Себастийского, святители Степана Сурожского, Павла Цареградского, Григория Некисарийского, Никиты Новгородского, всех святых земли сей и в земле российской просиявших, святых и праведных Богу Отец Иоакима и Анны, святителя Тихона, патриарха Московского и всей Руси, святого Андрея Первозванного, его жилинев, День есть и всех святых помилует и спасет нас, яко благ и человека любит.